This is going to be a very quick and to the point video. This is something you might want to share with family and friends that are not awake to the deception that's taken place in the media. And they'll understand the matrix that's taken place when it comes to Freemasonry. Start off, I want to explain this one thing when it comes to the Masonic square and compass and the G. I get this question asked often. What does the G stand for? There's just another image with the all-seeing eye above it. But when it comes down to it, of course, the alphabet, the first letter is 1. And the Z is 26. So it's 1 through 26. It's A through Z. And when you skip over and start all over again with the alphabet, A becomes 27. When you get to G again, you get to 33. So, again, for those that know about Freemasonry, it's all about duality. So the G and 33 are all the same, and it's always been in plain sight. Just more images of the 33. I'm going to show you how the Freemasons control every aspect of our society. Like I said, this would be a good video to show friends and family so they'll understand what's taking place. Many people love you know, the Indy 500 race cars. You see this, there's that there's 33 cars in this race, and people, you know, they focus on the cars, they don't focus on the other aspects and the details. There's 33 cars, again, this is a Freemasonic enterprise. And when you look at the checkerboard, same exact thing. It's all about Freemasonry. And these are the architectures of our society behind the scenes. The Freemasons, understand one thing. You have your local lodges, and they're not the ones that constructed society. They're the ones on the very bottom that's feeding the very top of Freemasonry. Just like religions, like the Catholic religion, for example, there's a lot of good you know, Catholics, but at the very top, they are Satanists, believe it or not. I'm going to talk about the number 33 again, just like the Indy 500 with 33 cars. I've mentioned this before with rituals when it comes to the Super Bowl. With the power outage at the Super Bowl at the Super Dome. Interesting enough, the dome which represents the flat earth. This is one of the reasons they hold the Super Bowls in the Super Dome. Just more mockery. Again, with more news stories. With the supposed TSA officer being you know, killed after bleeding to death for 33 minutes. This is their their code, that they're behind it. They're telling you that they are behind it all. Just little hints, again, that they're behind these supposed news stories. The shooter himself, the supposed shooter, Paul Anthony Ciencia. It's C-I-A-N-C-I-A. -A. This is how they love to mock and tell you that they're behind these stories. They're all about mockery. I've said it so many times. We're taking a look at the O.J. Simpson trial. O.J. supposedly gets 33 years in prison for stealing back his own merchandise. Like I mentioned before, with the very first trial, the supposed murder trial, which is nothing more than a divide-and-conquer psyop hoax, the Goldman family supposedly sued him for $33 million as well. This is, again, their hoax code. Now let's take a look at a more recent news story over the last few years when it comes to the famous, or infamous, I should say, Robbie Parker. The smiling father whose six-year-old daughter was supposedly gunned down at Sandy Hook. And you see the smiling, and you see the bricks in the back. This is all about Freemasonry. This is another sign that they're behind it. Let's look at the name Parker when it comes to numerology. It is 33. I'm telling you, all you need to know is the occult. You understand what's taking place. Just take a look at this man. You really think he just lost his daughter a day before? This is after the funeral. Look at that big grin. Look at him with Obama. What a joke. These two geeks, two deceivers. What you have here is Obama thanking him for doing his acting job. That's all you have there. These two deceivers. Now taking a look at another shooting, which was nothing but a hoax, of course, with Allison Parker. Again, Parker is 33, like I showed already. So again, all your news stories are coded. You don't want to read the text as much as you want to look at the numbers. And that's what it's about. Look for the numbers. There's your number, 33. The supposed cameraman, 33 years old, shot by Bryce Williams. 
You've got Parker 33, you've got the Cameraman 33, and you've got Order Out of Chaos. This is what it's all about. They create chaos, and out of chaos, they get their order. With new laws being passed, and that's, again, what it's all about. Well, understanding how the chain of command works with Freemasonry at the very top, People that control the society from behind the scenes, they also control the police. Again, with the checkerboard. These are Chicago police. Look at these Texas police officers at a funeral. And they got the Masonic aprons on. And of course, if anybody knows anything about Freemasonry, you know it's a worldwide enterprise. And you see here the new Scotland Yard. You see a Masonic lodge with the checkerboard. You see the band around the police officer's hat, the checkerboard as well. How obvious can it be? They, they put it in plain sight. Who owns and controls the police? Same here with Australia. Again, it's a worldwide enterprise. So when you hear about the Sydney siege or the Port Arthur shooting and those psyops, those hoaxes, you're going to understand the chain of command. These people in the police force, they do as they're instructed. It's simple as as that if not they don't have a job people might say well if they don't want to participate in a hoax or a psyop they'll just run to the news and tell them what's taking place good luck because the so-called elite own the, all of the media as well but well, where are they going to go to you know, this is again people need to understand the chain of command and how everything works from the top and it trickles down this is why so many people are deceived they don't understand the chain of command and that all of TV is controlled. 